All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna do another quick day of eating. What I've been doing for liver detox, just show you guys what the meal is, talk about it for a few minutes, and then we'll move on to the next meal. Pretty much the same overall, you know, same blueprint, but there are a few subtle changes with the supplements. Uh, the lunch we're doing today is gonna be different and uh, I'm focusing on a, a few separate things as well. So you guys saw the oatmeal we did uh, in Saturday's recipe video. Uh, the main difference here is that I've been adding either collagen powder or we've been using the liver detox smoothie to add some protein to the oatmeal just because it's a lot easier and more convenient than me having to cook like some sausage on the side. And I really can't stomach meat that well in the morning. So this is what we've been doing lately, just a nice bowl of oatmeal. And from a liver detox perspective, you need to give your body several main things. One is soluble fiber to soak some toxic bile and promote the excretion of the toxic bile. One is starch carbohydrates that also soaks the bile, gives the gut bacteria something to eat. Uh, the body uses a lot of amino acids to detox. So we have that in the collagen and then the body also uses glucose, sugar, and fructose to detox, all very important, which we have here in the oatmeal as we added some organic sugar. So it's, it's, it's basically one of the most perfect foods you can have for liver detox. Then we just have uh, some apples here, which are higher volume, which means that you know per calorie, there's a pretty significant water content. So that's great for gut motility because you're putting bulk in your stomach and you wanna keep the gut motility high just to keep toxins moving out. You don't want it to be stagnant. You don't wanna be constipated. You don't want any of that. So apple's perfect for that. And you're also giving your body a little more glucose, a little more fructose and the sugars uh, in different forms. We're gonna have uh, a few tablespoons of water kefir grains with the meal uh, to prevent candida, help digest and break down the carbohydrates. That's very significant. Uh, water wise, we have some Gerolsteiner. So I've been trying to increase my calcium intake lately. Uh, I made the oats with Gerolsteiner. So there's a decent calcium content in there. And that's because as I've been fixing the copper toxicity with a lot of zinc, with a lot of magnesium, those two minerals specifically are antagonistic to calcium. So uh, I deplete my calcium stores very quickly doing the copper detox protocol. So I have to start including more calcium in this case in the form of the Gerald Steiner the diet. Supplement wise, uh, we're taking one zinc, one molybdenum, uh, some vitamin B1, and some mastic capsules with every single meal. So I'll have these at the beginning of the meal. What that basically does is prevents the copper in the meal from being absorbed and gives me a little zinc and molybdenum to keep things balanced out. And then at the end of the meal, I'll have a little more mastic powder and uh, some charcoal to soak the bile. And the reason for the mastic is uh, when your liver function is impaired like mine is, when you have a lot of toxins and copper and stuff coming out and all that toxic bile, it, it promotes bacteria overgrowth, especially H. pylori, and it can be difficult for the gut to heal. Uh, basically, the liver isn't performing its digestive capabilities, so the bacteria and the yeast and the fungus in your stomach is kind of working overtime to break down the food. So doing these subtle things like the probiotics and the masticum help me feel better and help keep that stuff at bay. So yeah, a few pretty significant changes. Uh, still working towards something I feel good doing in the morning. Uh, but I guess the main thing that I notice a huge difference if I don't do it is taking the, the glandular. So I take a little male virility, a little bit of the big brain, and then some of the adrenal powder. And what I'll do is I'll eat my breakfast, I'll do some work on the computer for like 20 minutes, and then I'll come and I'll take those glandulars before I go to work. That's what I usually do. Uh, so if you guys wanna try this yourself, we got all the ingredients on frankiestrangefoods.com. The liver detox smoothie, which is very convenient to add to the oatmeal, is on organsupplements.com. All the supplements are on there too, guys. The B1, Mastic Gum, we got uh, molybdenum in this low dosage and zinc complex. No one else is selling these supplements online. I uh, can guarantee you that from a formulation perspective and a quality perspective, as well as affordability. So if you guys wanna help support me, you can check those out uh, before I end up uh, tied up in Moscow in some Russian princess's dungeon, as that is becoming more and more likely day by day. But before I, uh, before I start rambling on and complaining, I will see you guys for lunch. All right, I am back from work. 
to have our peasant meal. You guys are joking uh, some months ago about how I'm eating like gruel and slop like a medieval peasant. Like I have a, a bowl of oats for breakfast. I have a, a bowl of barley soup for lunch. Um, difference is the peasant would not have had high quality grass fed collagen protein sources in their oatmeal as well as a very high quality beef stock concentrate collagen bone broth that they use to make their beef barley stew. So, you know, instead of being a present, uh, present, instead of being a peasant, starving half to death, eating bread and grains, I am a half grass fed peasant getting plenty of high quality animal protein. So we got the B vitamins, we got the animal nutrition. Now this barley soup that I made at home is pretty much the same as the one we have on Frankie's strange meat. I just use less meat for myself. Uh, just beef, barley, wine, onions. Um, I didn't have the, I didn't have the seasonings and flavorings, but there's like some thyme, some mushroom, a little bit of garlic. Uh, the one the one on Frankie strange meat tastes better. It's just uh, I make this for myself because uh, I don't want as much protein in it. But uh, as in like meat protein, there's still a there's a ton of protein from the collagen broth in here, but. Either way, it's a balance of carbs, protein, starch, fiber, and it tastes pretty good. And it's also calorically dense to give me energy. So that's what we're gonna be having, a few bowls of this. Pretty plain, pretty tasty though. I have some more of the high calcium water. We'll have maybe two tablespoons of water kefir grains. And uh, same supplements that we had for uh, breakfast. So we're gonna have mastic gum, B1, molybdenum, zinc. Same honey crisp apple for dessert. I mean, the meal's kind of identical to breakfast. Uh, well, literally identical to breakfast, except we just swapped a bowl of oats for a bowl of uh, beef barley stew. Onions are for flavor, the wine is for flavor. The barley is the um, the starch. I'm thinking I could probably put the, um, the white bean puree in here. Add some more flavor and some more fiber if I wanted to. But this is nice because I get home from work, I'm hungry. I just warm it up on the stove top real quick. I'll crease my hair. Just warm it up on the stove top real quick. And then I'll finish doing some more work on my computer. And then I come back and sit down later and have the, uh, the kind of big bowl of udon and stuff for dinner. But I don't think there's anything else to show you guys. Again, same thing as I did for breakfast. We'll have a teaspoon of mastic gum and some charcoal at the end of the meal. No more glandulars because we had those after breakfast. But uh, I'm gonna enjoy my lunch and I'll see you guys in a few hours. All right, we're a little crooked, just like my liver. Oh my God. Deja vu, how many more times do I have to eat this giant bowl of pasta until my liver's fixed? You think a few hundred more times will uh, fix everything? Who knows? But we are finally eating dinner at a reasonable time because I have to get up early tomorrow. So we'll see how well I sleep. But you guys know what this is. Same meal actually as the last day of eating. Big bowl of udon noodles. What we've put on it has varied to some degree. We always have the white bean puree, which is just white beans with the artichoke spread, the organic artichokes we have on Frankie's Strange Foods. And then the protein source, I usually switch up a lot. Like I used to do ground beef. Lately, we have in this the Iberico ham, so I'll take just maybe like one ounce of Iberico ham, dice it up small, saute it in the pan, put a few tablespoons of collagen broth in there, and then I'll combine everything. So I'll take, you know, four or five tablespoons of white bean puree, the uh, caramelized ham with collagen broth, and then when the noodles are cooked, the starchy water, and all of that together makes kind of like uh, carbonara almost that's healthy that I can eat for my liver detox. So 
decent amount of calories. I feel good eating this for the most part every night. And uh, it's what we've been doing for a while. So pretty similar nutritional profile for every meal. You know, we have a lot of easily digestible collagen protein. We have a small amount of actual animal protein. We have a lot of starch and a decent amount of fiber. So you guys can see the consistencies with the meal. We're giving our body everything it needs from a nutritional perspective and then as much as possible to, to keep the liver detoxing. So uh, before bed here, I'm, I'm actually just gonna take uh, some mastic gum and some vitamin B1. And I probably don't say enough, but vitamin B1 is the main B vitamin for digesting carbohydrates. So uh, especially with meals of this size, you usually have to take it every single time. Sometimes like this meal, I try not to take minerals before bed because the liver does have to process them and it's a little stressful. So even like the small amount of zinc and molybdenum, uh, I'll take a break from it tonight and then we'll be back at it tomorrow morning. And then we have our, as usual, Honeycrisp apple for dessert, water kefir, grains. I'll do a little less this meal, usually like one tablespoon because you know it is an active probiotic it can be a little high in histamine so sometimes you can have a hard time sleeping if you take too much of it and uh same thing masticum powder with charcoal at the end of the meal that's going to uh soak all the bile coming out and the order that we do this is i'll have the kefir grains at the beginning i'll take a few bites of food i'll have the supplements then we'll eat everything and then the mastic and the charcoal will be at the end. But uh, that's it for today. Uh, thank you guys for joining me for this quick day of eating. If you want any of the animal products, uh, plant products, whatever it is, we have Frankie's Syringe Meat, Frankie's Syringe Foods, Organ Supplements, even my shirt, Wi-Fi shielding, and uh, deodorant, Frankie's Natural. So we got everything. If you guys go to frank you can check it out. Uh, that do earlier was actually made with the ground veal so we have the fresh veal share as well as some fresh beef shares available on the meat website if you guys want to try that out but thanks again for joining guys drop a like on the video leave a comment down below make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell and i'll see you guys for the next video